Ore uru joka nyanam Uru wako elu Jomuru wako elu timu naka mai Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander of the, of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the First Lady, the family of my friend, Mama Eileen, and your wonderful children, Joel and Lona, the Deputy President, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Cabinet, as a new leadership led by Her Excellency Martha Karua and, uh, and His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, and all the protocol observed, members of the clergy led by His Grace, the Archbishop uh, of the Anglican Church of Kenya. I really do not have much to say today other than to mention my colleagues who have joined us. But before I do that, Your Excellency, allow me to say that. Uh, Many of us in the political circle did not know General Ogola until the day he was made the commander of the Air Force. When the appointment was done, I remember me talking to my colleagues in parliament and asking ourselves, from where does he come from? Is he from Migori? Is he from Siaya? Because we had heard that there was also a General Ogola from the, those sides of Migori. Then I was told by my colleagues that actually he comes from your constituency. So I took the journey of finding out who General Gola was. So I, I used my contacts from here and I was given his number and I reached out to him. So when I reached out to him, we, within two days, gave me an appointment. Actually, he gave me a dinner date. And we had dinner for about four hours. Because I wanted to know, this is a very big man. We don't know him. Where has he been? So he told me that actually he has been around serving the country places some inside and outside the country. So General Ogola was largely a private person. He was very private and they did not want people to know him. At that time I started to work with him closely on some of the development projects in the, in the constituency and uh, I began to interest him on some of the things we could do. But we will work together with you but I don't want people to know that I'm the one who's doing all these projects. So there are so many projects which General Gola did around here, especially in the school that he went to, Nduru Primary School. He came one day and he began to renovate the old school. And when I visited the school, I found workers working and doing everything. But I was expecting the members of the Kenya Defense Forces to be the ones who were working on the, on the school. No, they were not. He was, the people working there were just people he had hired with these own resources. Many a times I was not comfortable with this simplistic approach to life because I could meet him around here driving in one car and I would ask him, 